All right, HVAC people. Let me show you what we got going on today. I'll be getting on the roof again. But uh, let me read the email that I have. It says we have a tenant moving into suite 280 and our lease requires us to have the HVAC unit ins inspected again. Ultimately, we need the unit to be in good working order. I have a test, a snippet of the previous survey completed in August. Our leasing agent just notified me of this. I would have asked you to do it while you were already there recently to save you some travel time. That's all good. Y'all pay well. Sorry about that. Feel free to let her know about the HVAC maintenance special as she will need it. All right. At that old plane. So this is the previous inspection that I had. So I'm going to give you a little background history on it. As you see, we have the modern serial number that we submitted on this job form through our jobber app. Got the age of the unit. Refrigerant type is R22. It's a five ton. The refrigerant pressure was low. Blower contact was chattering. Need troubleshoot. Now, I was working on the unit, uh, I think last week, about three units down from this unit. Let's go up there real quick. About three units down from this unit, I noted that the condenser fan motor was not running but the compressor was and the blower was running. So I know for a fact we need to troubleshoot that the unit was low. I think in August, the condenser fan motor must was running because I didn't write it up and I do have refrigerant pressure. So we're gonna troubleshoot that condenser fan motor. May just need a capacitor, but from the age of it, I might, might as well just go ahead and write a new condenser fan motor up and a capacitor. But well, we're gonna get up here and troubleshoot and uh, inspect this unit again to find out what we need to get it up and running. I spoke with the tenant that was that's going to be occupying this space, and uh, they said that they're not gonna be up and running to probably about three months from now. So uh, sound like I have plenty of time. They need to go bust some walls down and all that good stuff. Um, so. I do buy, buy me a little time. Hopefully, uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a leak check. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have been noticing on some of these, this is a train unit that the, the Schrader valve has been leaking. So hopefully that's it, but we're gonna do a, a leak search on it also. All right. All right, so I was working on, I think that unit right there last week and I noticed when I was working on this unit walking past this one the condensed fan wasn't running so it should still be calling for it downstairs and this is what I seen so definitely need to troubleshoot that like I said I share with you no, another plane Share with you, I know it's low on refrigerant, so just gonna do another inspection on the unit. So I'm gonna pull out my job form. So I like to just walk around. Coil is really not that bad. You got a little minor hell damage, but overall, man, the unit looks good. That bare minimum fair. But uh let's open it up, see what's inside. That should be a uh, single phase condenser fan motor, so it should have a cap. Because I know in August, I, I didn't write it up, so this uh, fan was working. But I don't want to replace the capacitor. I'm going to take the amps and stuff on. I don't want to replace the capacitor and then the fan goes out. She filter section. I've been in the space, I got 220 by 20 by ones. Alright, as you can see, I don't think this. You see my uh, 
cobwebs. That's the car. Not too bad. Fan department, blower. Check that blower cap. I think at least the blower was running. Let's make sure. Lord does run. Alright, moving right along. We need to check the heater also. It's gonna be some type of body hydration place. They want to put fluid in you. Several of these, they've been leaking uh, at these Schrader valves on a lot of these units out here. And you can see I still have a fission right here. So I might get my electronic leak detector and do a electronic uh, leak detection, but. And just charge it back up. But this unit hasn't ran in a while. It's R22, and I don't want to. Uh, it's not flat, so I don't think if I just charge it up, it may be change these Schraders out. The refrigerants, hopefully, it'll stay. Or I might write a quote up to go ahead and convert now to 407C. That's my condenser capacitor right here. So I got the power off. Then the first thing I'm gonna check is that capacitor. I'm gonna go ahead and quote them on a new capacitor, but I know they probably go ahead and approve it. So probably go ahead and put a new capacitor on there. And uh, I'm gonna have to quote this job as multiple repairs. Like charging up, changing the capacitor, doing the inspection. All right, so what we looking like right here. Okay, 117. All right, folks, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we got that off. Let's go ahead and double check that. Michael Fair and a lot of planes. Got Bush Continental Airport not too far from here. All right, so we got this on Michael Fair. Be 
like Richard if I don't have a condenser fan. Ain't too much I can do until we get that changed out. Alright, so we got a good connection right there. 7.5. I can tell you now this capacitor ready for at least a 7.5, I think. So we're gonna have a bad condenser fan motor. Let's see what yeah, the cap says 7.5 on the condenser fan. All right. So it might just be seized up. Let's see. Let's see. So it's not seized, but... You can tell it's kind of stiff. I can tell it's kind of. But I'm gonna plug this back up. And we're gonna do our due diligence and troubleshoot it the right way. So basically, I'm just gonna make sure I got power going to it. I can either do that with my little tester or a meter, and I don't have my tester up here. We'll just find out what wires were. Well, that's brown and purple, so it should be a black. That's it right here. So that's my power to my condenser fan right here. This black wire. Yeah. So it pretty much powered up all the time. I think there's a three-phase compressor, so if I wasn't, yeah. If I wasn't getting power right here, that compressor would probably be very loud. I'm running backwards. So I'm just gonna see if I got power to L1. If we got power to L1, you got a bad condenser fan motor. Wish I had my alligator clamps up here. Voltage. Going to. Like I said, all I'm doing is trying to power one, put this black lead to ground. If I got power on air one, if you hit a meter beep, you know I got power to my condenser fan. So. You can't see that, but I had 284 on L1. That's it, let me know we got power to the condenser fan, and uh, it ain't working. Yeah, it, it ain't working. I just want to see what my compressor is it kicking over though. Let's see if it's doing that. Yeah, so. That, uh. Let me rethink this, because, uh. In my original report, I put the blower contactor was clattering. I don't see a blower contact on there, so it must be going through the relay. And I don't see, uh, I did not see the 24 volts pull in right here. So it, it's not calling for my compressor. The loud noise that I'm hearing I'm thinking it was the compressor. But uh, that's actually that contactor that's loud like that. That compressor not even on either. Okay. What? Right. You see ain't no amps coming from that compressor. I'm 
tell where it's coming from. Look at it, transforming. That relay right there. So I should have made sure that that, that, that damn blower more that blower uh I mean that thermostat work. I can't get into the building, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump this out. What is this yellow right here? 104, I think that's for it had two compressors so this black right here for my fan one All right, so i'm gonna jump this out folks i don't know what they got going on here there's so many different thermostat wires how many thermostat wires we got My bad, not necessarily a misdiagnosis, but when I was passing through here the other day, it was so loud, this relay right here, I thought that was the compressor. And I thought the thermostat was calling, it. maybe it was on. Now that the thermostat, but look like the fan good then, compressor good. Probably just gonna need a charge and uh, take a look at that thermostat. Capacitor good. That's all I'm gonna have to do on this one right here, then. Next. this one up I'm definitely got a leak surge check charge change filters yeah so this one should be an easy one I'm gonna do folks on this one though. Uh, 
change the filters, clean the unit up, and uh, charge it up. Clean it up, the head pressure go down, then I had the door open. That's why my head pressure was at 200. All right. All right, folks, so that's what I got on this one. Uh, like I said, it don't take long to, you know, diagnose and, and write what I need to do to get this unit back up and running. But that's, that's my proposal gonna be to them. Replace this relay. Replace uh, the filters, clean it up. Uh, I'm gonna replace these Schrader valves and charge it up. And uh, I think we should be good to go. But uh, I got a couple more to look at. So we'll see you on the next one. All right, HPAC people, we out. Got the relay right here. I got one in my truck, but it's 125 volts. So I'm gonna see if this is a, a 24 or 120 core. Let's see what we got right here, folks. See, it's like a 24 volt coil right there. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a 24 volt coil. So I don't think I have one of them in my truck. You see that thing black and smutty back there, too. I need to change both of them, but uh, you see that's a 124 volt coil, so that won't work. I'm gonna see if I got a 24 volt coil in my truck. If not, like I say, I, I just come back. If I had one in my truck, I'd just put one on there real quick and uh, see if that silence that chattering noise. All right, folks, now we got the right relay. Let's go put it in, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and get this relay put on here. As you can see, we got a 24 volt coil. So I'm gonna get this one replaced, get the unit charged up. I think it holds the whole number about four pounds. It's probably about a pound short, a pound or two. The whole 4.9, so it holds about five pounds roughly. And so I get that replaced, jump it out, charge it up and uh, test operation. All right. Pretty much exactly the same. So the black go at the bottom. One with the two blues on this side. Blue. Ah. So remember last time, uh, even with, cause I guess this coil was stuck for the blower to, to turn on anyway and it was chattering real bad. So whenever I turn power, the blower automatic turns on and this chatter. So now, I don't know if it's calling for fan on or auto though, but I'm thinking if I turn this on, it should not chatter and the blower should not turn on unless I jump it out. Well, let's see what happens. All right. So 
So maybe call them for blower. The blower did turn on, but it's not it's not chattering anymore. So that's good. So now she'll basically just charge it up. I don't have access to the building today, but I can see if it's called a floor by putting a common and a fan. See if we got 20, 24 volts. You see the fan is running and uh, no chatter. All right, so that's one down. Let's see what else we got to do to get it up and running. Kind of loud. Might need to watch 
Ja, ik kom wel over. Compressor, so this overall amps right here. So that's including their fan, too. That's my compressor right here. I think this is the compressor. Yeah, 8.1. 8.1 is rated for like 10 amps. Like I said, this unit been down, I think, for a few years, so I'm gonna let that run for a good little while at the presses right now. I think if I go get me one more hose, I clean both of them coils. Like I say, so they doing, ain't nothing in the space, doing a little construction work to it down there. Sound like I heard somebody down there. Let me see if I can get into the building. And uh, kind of look around. I know I need to change those filters too. It's a hundred foot hose, and I think I got a fifty foot or a twenty five foot. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it's enough. I gotta go about another twenty feet. I get one more. Jackson, that is probably had enough. Uh, Vicksburg Cemetery, for a very long time, many of us, including yours, truly was taught that the Vicksburg Cemetery was a cemetery for the Confederates. Well, that doesn't lie. And, and actually, the, 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 the fighting man of the honor yesterday, uh, Lance Wilson Brown, is buried there. He's buried there at Vicksburg from Natchez. That's right. I don't think this is going to be enough. Thanks, Ike. So when I go back to Vicksburg, I will be looking for uh, Wilson. Uh, his last name is Brown. Yes, sir. Last name is Brown. Wilson Brown. Yeah, I will be looking for you. Unless I get it on the roof over there. The tombstones are not just markings for the grave. They are monuments. The guy is real monuments. I don't know the way they're going to be there. But it's a monument. It's a testament to the fact that there was sacrifices, especially in that someone gave the 40s. And for you. Just did made it. So I know now that uh, with those two holes, I can at least get to this unit right here. In the future, if I need to go a little farther, I had to get some more holes, but that's how far I was able to reach. I actually had to latch that on there on my unit. So anyway, I got the owner on the way. 
to uh, control this unit by the thermostat because I need to change the filter. So I probably got about one pound, two ounces in here right now. See, 49 over 255. So I'm not going to put any more refrigerant until I replace those filters and clean this unit up a little bit more. Now I think we should be good. So that's what I'm about to do now. Clean it up. Shut it down. I should get a phone call here in a second. To understand see it's here to open up. And their responsibility to people first. And of course, uh, the, the neighbors. So you, we end up time and time again. Every day there, so I don't put too much in here. Usually, I like to lay, lay this down over that. Uh, I if I get it wet, it won't be too bad, but since they're doing construction down there. Drain. Let's go to the condenser.
So they just called me, let me know that they in the building. So I'm gonna put this back to normal. Make sure that thermostat work. Cause I did not quote them on the thermostat. I looked at it, uh, seen it was brown, but I did not make sure it was working when they let me in the building the other day. So hopefully it's working. If not, I'm about to quote them on a new thermostat. All right, so that's back normal right there. I'm going to put this. This person was We're going to do that right there. Request form, you mm -hmm. just fill the information out and I send you a quote. Okay. Uh, I think uh, they want you at least to do it annually. Okay. But I see your option if you want to do it maybe biannually okay. and annually. Perfect. Okay. All right. That all, all, all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you're saying this all the city should be painted black? So this is what I was afraid of. Uh, totally blank. The drawings, the drawings, yes. yeah. He mentioned that we may be able to go up a little bit mm -hmm. um, because of Orange. the distance between, I don't know, he said, I can't remember now. But uh -huh. he was saying we could. Definitely not wired correctly. So, all right, folks, so. Yeah, you I didn't want to speak while the tenant was right there, but that thermostat is not wired correctly. And uh, so I need to go. So I'm going to turn the power off. I think there's a breaker somewhere in the suite. So I'm going to turn that power off real quick and uh, we wire right down here. That's why that blow up keep running. You see that thermostat blank? I don't know if you can hear it. But even when I turn the power back on the unit. So that, uh, that's probably why that relay went bad. We wired the thermostat up like that. Uh, probably had that up. Uh, been running forever. Never turning off. So the coils on that relay got hot. screwdriver in my truck get that wire correctly probably should have went out and record another thermostat put a new one on there but i'm gonna try to see if this will work it don't look that bad all right so i'm back on the roof looking there look like i got 
Let's see what's going on with this thermostat wire. I see how they got it wired up. Sometimes they be trying to control two sweets. I seen crazy stuff. But we're gonna have to check continuity. I found out what's what downstairs. So what I'm gonna do here. And I know that power was on. Gotta be careful, folks. So I probably end up doing this wiring. Gotta be kidding me. So I need to find out if, if it's two thermostats. Come on, I gotta rewire this thing, folks. So I'm gonna rewire, folks. And the easy way to do this like I say, is uh, cut it right here. You really know how they had theirs wired. And if all that fell, hook it back up how they had it. Which is probably the wrong way, but you don't know sometimes they jump stuff out to how the unit's running. So I'm gonna we wire this whole thing. All this. Okay, we start from scratch. We got a schematic, I think. Okay. All right. So this blue is common. Yellow for uh, cooling. This black is for fan. We got two cool, but I get one capped off for this single stage. And brown, they probably two stages of heat. Yeah, we got two stages of heat down there. Yeah, one, two contacts. You can see that brown right there. So I'm two browns is my heat. Brown contact, you got another brown over there. Heat, common, fan red. All right, so downstairs, we're gonna try to find that thermostat. So I'm gonna hook these two green, this green and this orange up. I mean this green and 
blue. Remember green and blue. Hook those two up. So I got green and blue hooked up. Make sure green and blue is not touching on this one. Let's go downstairs and see what we got. All right, folks, and like I say, I really don't know what's, how they got it wired up. Like I say, so what I want to do is, I want to take this green and that blue. I want to check continuity. Oh man, I ain't bring my wire scripper, so now I'm gonna forget something up there. So I just put this on continuity. I just want to hear a beep. If we got blue and uh, green beeping, this all wire. So I'm not getting a beat right here from green to blue. All right, so that's not my thermostat. So I'm gonna try to search around. Let me see if that unit right there. Sometimes I have multiple thermostats. Slim this sweetie, like, best any kind of money. We got another thermostat next door. Let's see if I can get over there. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the key. Okay. In the lock box. Right, folks, so the best thing for me to do since I got one wire down here and two up there, I'm gonna go ahead and wire nut these two together and go see if I can find my wire up there. So remember I got blue and green down here. Yeah man, I ain't using red or nothing. It's crazy. All right, folks. Now I'm back on the roof. Like I say, it got to be either this wire or this wire, or be on the wrong suite or something. So well, I got the blue and the green hooked up down there. Like I say, I tested this down here. This should have beeped, so I don't think it's this wire. I think it's this wire right here. These are two I had hooked up earlier. So, like I say, this one, sh I don't think it should be. And these two right here should be. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Yeah, I think so, because you can see this right here. They were using black at that thermostat for that fan, remember? So I guarantee you, this is it. But, I'm gonna have to find out what's going on with this one still. All right, folks, so let's check this right here. All right. Let's 
say, so we're gonna just put this on continuity. So we're gonna select that's on. We can check it there too. This the beat right here, that sound. Oh man, sound. All right. So like I say, we should get a beat right here. On these two blue and green. Oh, I do not get a beat. I'm not getting a beat, folks. What about here? I'm not getting the beat, folks. So something is going on. Something is definitely going on here. Mm -hmm. Something is definitely going on. Unless it's a break in that green. So I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try to hook up uh Can't find my thermostat. Alright folks, so I'm gonna try to hook up uh I just try another color to see if it's a fluke. Just to see if it's a fluke. I wanna use one they using. So I'm gonna hook up uh black and yellow so now we got black and yellow hooked up all right so i got black and yellow hooked up on this thermostat and black and yellow is not hooked up on this one. okay so i'm gonna go down there and touch black and yellow all right y'all so This is getting kind of weird on me. So I got black and yellow. Check continuity. Yeah. All right. So I do get a beep. So that's my thermostat wire right here. I got black and yellow. So. Either something, it's a break or something in green so i'm gonna try this right here also so i'm gonna try this one more time i'm gonna try blue and green again just to make sure that's maybe why they switched up these wires are breaking something so i'm gonna go blue and green again right here blue and green i should have continuity up there black and yellow wire nutted on the roof right here all right as you can see so if I if I go if I go black and white I should not get a beat all right if I go white and yellow I should not get a beat all right so I should get the beep on these two like I said, I should not get a beat right now. I'm blue and green. I'm not. But I'm wiring that these together again. And go on the roof. We do not get a beat on the roof on between blue and green. I got a break somewhere. All right. All right, y'all. So. 
This is getting kind of weird on me. So I got black and yellow. Check continuity. Yeah. All right. So I do get a beat. So that's my thermostat wire right here. I got black and yellow. So. Either something, it's a break or something in green. So I'm gonna try this right here also. So I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna try blue and green again just to make sure. That's maybe why they switched up these wires of breaking something. So I'm gonna go blue and green again. Right here, blue and green. I should have continuity up there because I have black and yellow wire nutted on the roof right here. All right. As you can see, so if I, if I go, if I go black and white, I should not get a beat. All right. If I go white and yellow, I should not get a beat. All right. So I should get the beat on these two. Like I said, I should not get a beat right now. I'm blue and green. I'm not. But I'm wiring that these together again and go on the roof. We do not get a beat on the roof on between blue and green. I got a break somewhere. All right. Okay. So remember. All right. So I don't have anything hooked up on this one right here, pretty much. Where orange and red is. So remember we was getting a beep on black and yellow down there. So pretty convinced this is my wire. But right now, downstairs I have a blue and green, so I should get continuity right here. If not, we're not gonna be able to uh We gotta come up with something. We got enough wires to make it work. Like that's what they did. See, I'm not getting the beat right here. So that just tell me, I think we got a break. Okay, let me just make sure this is gonna be. We got a break. All right, so I'm not really gonna try to chase it down cut back right here like I said because I'm convinced this is my wire right here cut back a little bit cut back I got quite a few quite a bit so I'm gonna cut back maybe about right here hopefully before I cut it Break it, but I'm, I think I'm gonna use. So let's check it right here. All right, so we still don't have nothing right there. So I think I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use the blue 
or the green, folks. I got a feeling it's spliced. A short somewhere, so that's probably the issues they was having. I do think my yellow and my black is good because I'm getting continuity with that one. So I'm gonna try to use my red. I'm gonna use uh, brown for common. I'm gonna use white for heat. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's all I need. So I need my red. I'm gonna use the black for the fan. I'm gonna use brown and common. And and I'm walking up and down uh, this ladder. You gotta walk down into another suite to get back to my suite because the back door, they don't have a key to it. So I'm doing quite a bit of walking while I'm doing this, but I'm gonna go down there one more time because I wanna just check two more wires just to make sure we good. I'm gonna check, use two that I haven't used. So I'm gonna use red and white. Wire nut these together. My white. And my red, if they, if I get a beep down there between these two, I'm confident that uh, this is my wire and I got a break or something on blue or green. So I got white and red together. Let's go see if we get a beep. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna unhook this. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with blue and green, but if I get a beep between white and red this time, we don't go ahead and wire this thermostat up down here. Alright. All right. So we got a big. So I'm gonna go white and red. Oh, I'm not getting the beat. Man, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. That's why I believe this is my wire, but I don't really why I'm iffy on this red because they were using this orange too. You know what I mean? They cut out their red, so I don't know if, they, if their red just broke up in that wire somewhere. Either maybe pop a uh, ceiling tile, man. Let's see if there's a ladder here. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, folks, I'm trying to uh, chasing that wire, so I'm popping ceiling tiles just so I can at least get a visual trying to see what's, what's going on uh, I, I just don't see how somebody wired this like this is not conventional so I think they may have done that for a reason so um, Trying to follow my tail so I'm just gonna pop a ceiling tile right here and the unit is in the middle oh, The unit used to be right up under the return I'm gonna see if I got two wires going up there Oh, what's going on? So I'm gonna pop that seven tile as well. Okay, so this is what we have. The water heat up there. I'm seeing my thermostat wire coming out of there. There we go, right there. So there's one thermostat wire, folks. It's going up here. Like I say, this is the best of my unit. That's a thermostat wire running along there. I don't see but one. I don't need to pop this seven times. I can kind of see it from here. See a smoke detector. So this smoke detector here is wire, it goes here and then go. I 
guarantee you this will keep my unit out right here. It's not on. Um, so that wire is going. Man, I already see how it's going on. So I got a key right here. Bypass this. So that wire goes to my thermostat. It looks like somehow they had it. However, they had it wired up that way. Coming back down here to this uh, smoke detector. And either I'm going to need to see how this thing wired up. It could have been alarm on that smoke detector. I think I got the unit off now. So. Maybe all I had to do is hit that reset button and fire up that thermostat. Alright, folks, I'm trying to be a little rusty on commercial. I don't have my foot in here with me. Keeping that, that's how they got this thing wired up. It's going down here. So anyway, man, for now, for the bypass this, cause they for the reconstruct all this anyway. Uh, yeah, we got to bypass this. So I just want to find that wire. Go to my thermostat. And uh, I'm gonna disconnect this up there. It's probably going through. So I want to just determine which which is which. So on this one right here, the wire that's going, I gotta go back on the roof and check continuity again. But the wire that's going to my uh, smoke detector, I'm gonna wire nut this together, um, yellow and green, and then down on my thermostat. I may wire up. I want to make sure this is disconnected from up there because it may be wired in. That's why I'm not getting continuity when I check white and red together or something like that. So as you can see, white and red is right here. <sighs> All right, so like I said, I'm wiring up these together. That's my smoke. Anyway, so I'm going to root. So my thermostat, I'm going to do this again. I got blue and green. Blue and green on the thermostat. All right. So smoke detector, I got green and yellow. So I got a yellow and green right here. I got a yellow and green. All right. So that's my uh, smoke detector right there. All right. So I don't want to use this. Like I said, I want to see. As you can see, this is going to go straight down. That's why I got two wires right there. So this one, maybe that's why they twisted up like that. I don't know. But that's when this is going to be my smoke detector. All right. So this is my smoke detector. Like I said, so I don't want to get this out the way. And this one here should be my, uh, I think I tied blue. Yeah, blue and uh, green together. So it should make my thermostat right here. So if we get a continuity between this blue and green, I'm confident this is my thermostat. Let me go ahead and wire it up. If I don't get a blue and green, it's gonna be frustrated. I mean, if I don't get a beat, let's see. I do not get a beat, folks. Gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. All right, folks. So I'm pulling on this thing. 
That might be your problem right there. Might definitely touching. All right, folks. I think I'm about to write them, write them up a quote, run some new wire or something. Let me see if I can fix it right here. Alright folks, so I'm gonna cut this wire by right here. And uh see if we can redo it. Try not to run new wire. Alright, these back people, so sorry if I had to take y'all through this frustrating uh video. But I'm about to say, hey, screw this. Just run some new thermostat wire. Hey get it over with but uh i think i, I found the problem though i don't know how well y'all you can't see in this hole but i see so i'm tugging on this wire right here because i really i want to hook my wire up to this wire and just pull it along but this wire is it's not pulling at all and you i'm talking about it, it ain't giving at all and the only thing that's separating that wire is this right here. And as you can see, if I, if I try to pull here, tug up, I'm pulling hard as I can. Up, oh, it's not giving. happening is like I said I don't know if I'm better show you but I'm gonna cut this wall open because I can see down in there it's a screw right here uh, got that wire inside a two by four That could have been done. Cause they built this wall right here. But it's a screw going right into this wire. That's why this wire is not budging. I guarantee you that's why I don't have continuity on my wire. So alright, so I'm gonna cut this sheet right open. Find my seat right now, folks. screw on there right there the screw so that's why they had originally had that uh I bet that screw probably went right and then it looked like uh seemed like 
that wire go behind that two by four. So I don't know if it's gonna have it pieced up against that wall or not. So they're doing some construction right here. It's on this side. I might have to cut a hole in that wall. They're gonna have to fix it. Yep. All right, should be able to see it a little better now. That's it. I'm gonna see if I can kind of push it. Push it down. Look like that how they, they actually got this uh that's how they stopping the wire from moving. They actually meant to put those two screws right there, look like. Two screws. Cutting my wire. I'm gonna have to open this wall up. So I got, got that bottom one halfway out of there. So this is my wire right here. I got a spool of wire still up there on the roof. So I can just pull this as long as I need it. But this is my new wire. Probably gonna, that's the thermostat wire that's sticking through the wall right there. Probably hook up to that one. Hopefully it don't get stagged on anything. And I'll pull it through. But I can't reach this. So I'm gonna have to pop another ceiling tile in the middle down there somewhere. And uh, I, I might see if I how far I can throw this. Might be able to throw it real far. I'm gonna throw this as far as I can. I'm ball it up and throw this wire down there as far as I can. And go get it. All right. All right, so, so I got me a spoon. Like I say, I'm just gonna throw this as far as I can down there. Try to ride along the trunk line. Left on me. 
I can do better than that. get my unit bit and drill another hole down there and uh because they got there's going behind this two by four and they're gonna be a problem so i'm gonna get my uh i gotta glue on the dark electrical uh puller i'll pull it down myself all right folks so of course if it ain't one thing it's another i thought i was gonna be on this right here but it's wood, so I didn't want to go in this two by four and see if it's hollow past it. So that's what I'm doing now. a hole. That's kind of all they had to do the first time to line up with their hole down there. But.
fall. Finally, finally, finally. Do it there. So that's my wire. Go ahead and get it wired up. So I can do a start up on it. And we should be done. Right, break her off. thermostat one heat one cool so I'm gonna call for my heater to both stays to turn on at the same time okay so we'll do that by hooking up two browns to white yellow right here I'm gonna keep it capped off because it's for a second stage uh, heat this is the uh, yellow I need that's for my compressor All right, so we'll go red on red Green will go black. That's the fan. construction here so this thermostat may not even end up on this wall I actually like to get it in another room maybe closer to the filter but it can't stay right here but uh, they do if it does end up staying right here uh, I think it'll be easier to uh, fix this sheetrock by patching it up and then I'm just gonna mount my hole right beside this big hole right here cuz I can actually stick my hand in here and just uh, grab my wire so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a unit bit
Honeywell T1 Pro. Yeah, we on the home scratch now, folks. Well, I'm doing this shit right across right. there. I'm gonna be mad at him. I don't know why I still got my hole so close to here. They might have called me back out here to move that plate for me. I like that plate gonna cut up and up and up. But if they got skills, they can make it work. They can call me back out here and move it. Saying second stage heat. Right. Got a blue gonna be common. Green is gonna be that fan. And uh, I'll read this right here. 24 volts. Alright, 
So I'm going to go through these one by one and change them real quick. And then I'll start the uh, process back. But it's starting at 125 is zero. We're going to keep it at Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to go to next or done. Oh, shoot. Okay, I want to go. I need I want to go back to setup if possible. I really don't know. I guess it's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, y'all. So we got it off up top. Hold up, menu. Slow this down five seconds. All right, so hold menu down for five seconds. You can go back up to your program. So I started done. I'm going to go to next. All right, so 200 system is a conventional force air heat is one. So mine is a four. See how do I change the numbers, folks? Okay, so I guess I gotta go to edit. So on heat, yeah. So I'm gonna go to number four on 200, then go to next, 220. Cooling stages is one. We'll go to next, 430. Minimum cool set point is 52. Uh, let's go to 60, 62, 420 is temperature display offset, that's at zero, we'll keep it at zero, that's it for this one, this is not a program for family stat, alright, so it's on off right now, let's go to menu, I'm gonna go to mode, we're gonna go on cool mode, let's turn it to, uh, Okay, that's cool mode, done. Okay, now you can change the temperature. All right, so I got it set for 73. My power is off on the roof. Let's go. Uh, probably got a five minute delay on here, but let's go on the roof and turn it on. All right, folks, so we in action. Go check some pressures. Got the coil clean. New thermostat, new thermostat wires. Got a charge on it. Let's see what the pressure's gonna look like. Everything running good though. For a little while, I've been running probably about two or three minutes right now, but the thermostat is controlling it now finally. So I can uh, go ahead and start doing a startup on it. Uh, but uh, we should be good to go. Uh, this right here was kind of a head scratcher. No need style videos for our comments. I'll probably thank you for your comments. I'm probably going to get a lot of what a good should have should have done on these style videos. Uh, but at, at the end of the day, uh, it all fades the same. So uh, I'm happy with it. Customers should be happy. We got this level going. I'm trying to move on to the next one. All right, back people. Thanks for watching.